Hello folks, hello. Well, well, well. Seen seen this story when I'm talking about talking about politics, talking about things that that did happen would amaze me or something. Yes, I was was supposed to do this post video about Scotland being independent. Okay. Here in the United States, we've been independent from the British. We were free from British control back back in the day in 1776. And it was a war, a revolutionary war. I don't know if you're talking about that. But for example, the for example, for example, probably in India they did the same thing about the vote yes or no. Maybe the yes they want to be independent from from gain independence from Britain. Okay, that's what what I'm saying. And this time, the no has won, and the yes didn't. Well, after all. If the yes won, then another country in Asia want to join the the Union GAC. What would be what would be with this, and how would the British flag would look like? I would imagine things like this. I would imagine um, Britain asking for. Taking a body of water for Japan and stuff. I could imagine a yin yang in the in, on the new British flag. But yeah, guess that guess whatever it is, you know. You guys are 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 free, you know. Still, I mean, still in in the. Still under the re or the British regime. I mean, not, if you want to be independent? That's awesome. You know, it, th that day will come. That day when that yes will come and it will come. You know, we're gonna do jump in the euro zone, or what did it? What would it? What I'm, what else am gonna hurt? Well, okay, what is this? The yes one. What is this? Okay, what is this? The Republic of Scotland. What is the president of Scotland? How is the parties will do? A whole different story. A whole different story. How would it be? Totally different. I su I suppose I suppose is this. You know now with these things going on with ISIS and all this situation like that. You know. Uh, in in you know with James Foley and and uh, what else and Stephen Zoltloff getting their heads cut off. The last guy who got his head cut off was was an English guy named David Capeworth Haynes. Hines, I mean, this would be like. How would I see it in a whole different way? How would I see it in a whole different way for people watching in YouTube? Right? The day that Scotland will be free from being British rule. You'll see like there might be discussions of another nation in Asia wanted to join the Union Jack and You'll see a flag with a yin yang, and then, then also to have in, in conclusion Northern Ireland being now having a vote the same thing. You know, you know what? Guess what? Let us become part of the Republic of Ireland. That's what they say. That kind of vote, if the yo, if the yes wins for Northern Ireland, in uh, uh, that would be like, boom. That's it. Now another country joins joins in the union, but this time is in Asia, and this time it would be like this thing to say, oh yeah, now we have this new territory in Britain, 
and and then what the what the United Kingdom would do having the yin yang in their flag you know go to the ICJ win over Japan over territorial issues of two little islands and whatsoever you know that's what it is you know if, just to mention much just to mention with that with that uh, Japanese people watching this whatever it is what if the day that Scotland decided to win and be independent Great Britain gains a country or I mean Korea wants to be part of the British I could tell you what give up your li your two little islands in the ICJ is okay to lose it's okay to lose against the International Court of Justice give up the Lane Court of Rocks or Tekashima to the British uh, let them change the name of the Sea of, of Japan I think that's the only reason instead of you know we don't want no wars no country wars are stupid you know even for something that what it is for something well it, at least it is better off than seeing uh, you know Korean Muslims beheading Japanese people you know uh, you know whatever the case may be ISIS beheads a Japanese person you know and then and then whatever it is I'd rather see uh, Asian chicks with British accents than seeing uh, Japanese people being beheaded by Korean Muslims I'd rather you know see in you know what what would do that the day Scotland be free from Britain you know that the waters will be called the Sea of Japan changes name and give and, and then going to the International Court of Justice losing the the Lane Court Rocks Great Britain if an uh, if that nation from Asia unites and we want to become part of the British you know that would be not to rage war with an ally and this is this is brutal what what ISIS have done and then that's and that's the only thing that I want to see and then I wish for the future for the best stay there uh, it is for a better solution but either way either way to see the light to see the light of day to see the light of day to prevent jihad in Japan well what would ISIS would do and what would you know have your, your the future for for having a better world or a better tomorrow or something like that that will talk about the, the the no winning in the vote for Scotland not being part of Britain, still part of the UK. But if the time comes when they be free and Ireland, Northern Ireland returns to the Republic of Ireland, well, that day will come. But in order for seeing this with the ISIS situation, as long as a as long as another country, I mean, as long as there is a situation with this thing, I rather see a Korean person. My wish for is I rather see a Korean person being beheaded by ISIS instead of a Japanese person. Why? Because seeing that you know it's a way to prevent jihad you know in that part of the world but after all thanks for your choice and good luck stay strong people all over the world it's okay you could choose to be free from 
being occupied by another nation. We were occupied. India was occupied. You know, it's time for a change. Have the vote, people have have the power. Power to the people. Goodbye.